Here at Richardson's, we're really looking forward to welcoming you aboard for your holiday. Before you start your trip, we'd like to take you through some of our guidance for dealing with ropes and knots when on board your cruiser, so you know what to expect when you arrive. It's really important that you keep your lines clear at all times, stowing your mooring lines when they're not in use and checking that you're not trailing any lines in the water when you're underway. When you're moored up for the night, make sure your knots are well tied. There are three main knots you'll want to know for your holiday on the broads. The first of these is the round turn and two half hitches for secure fastening to a post or ring. Loop the rope twice around the post, then turn it back around itself once and pull tight. Then pass it around again and pull tight once more. The bowline knot is used to make a loop in the end of the rope or for tying two ropes together. It's also useful for securing a mooring line to a ring. Make a small loop and pass the end of the rope back through it, then behind itself again. Pull the end back through the loop once more and pull tight. The final knot you'll want to know for your trip is the clove hitch, which is commonly used for mooring to a post, though it's not the most secure knot and can slip, so is generally recommended for smaller craft and dinghies. Hold the rope in both hands, then pass the end in your right hand under that in your left. Slip this loop over the post and then repeat the process. Pull the line tight around the post to secure. If you have any questions or concerns at any time during your holiday, you can call us for advice and assistance on the number in your captain's manual.